Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, not wholesome Project Phoenix Mean. In today's video tutorial, we got a really great tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to use this awesome program called WinX DVD Ripper Platinum. Basically, it's a program that allows you to easily take your DVD movies, like from a disc or from an ISO or from a DVD folder, and convert it to any other kind of video format. So it's a really nice solution if you have a DVD movie, like I'm trying to do right now, and I'm trying to convert my my library DVD library. So I can put it on my NAS and I can watch it on my game consoles, for example, and it's awesome. So here's the website. You can download a trial copy and check it out. And let me show you how this program works. So here's the program that's already loaded up. And this is the main interface. It's pretty simple. Uh, let's go over to simple stuff. So I'm going to skip disk for now. But if you had an image, like an ISO image, you can go ahead, browse to that folder and select an image. Or you have a DVD folder, you can go ahead and select that DVD folder path and go out down that route. Or you can click the clear button to clear all your presets. Or you can go to options. Options is really basic. It just has the default audio language and these kind of parameters. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a DVD. So I already inserted a DVD disc. So I'm going to click disc here. I'm going to select my source DVD disc. Press OK. And today I'm going to make an uh, example of uh, Die Hard. And that's the movie of today. So here you got different profiles that you could do, you know, different devices, so on and so forth and so forth. Let's say I want to do a PC general video. And let's say that I want to have like the best the best quality. So, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to do like for example MP4 and I want to do high quality. So, I'm going to say slow for example. And I'm going to press okay. Here we see that automatically the main title selected is selected and then you got the main audio. If you want subtitles, you can go ahead select the subtitles that you want. So, let's say you want English subtitles for example with it. And then here you can go ahead and do some more settings like you can set your tag you know some information here or you want if you have like more than one movie file you can merge them together or if you want to do some more uh, tweaking of the source material you can also do that here to this preset but I'm not gonna do that and then over here you can also say you know use high quality engine de interlacing 99.9% .9 of the time your DVD movies are um, interleaving but go ahead and try it and see how your video output looks like here I got eight cores I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I got all eight and then uh, here's my default destination folder directory. And that's pretty much it. So now I just click on the run button. It's going to go ahead, go through its process. It's going to take, oh, I don't know. It depends on how fast your computer is. So it might take, you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, and so on and so forth. But eventually, you're going to have this amazing video footage file that you can play on your computer or on your Android or iPhone or iDevice on your console and really have a lot of good times and that's it. If you ever need more information on how to use a program for whatever reason, you can click on this question mark and go to the help button here and it's got this really great, you know, other tutorials that you can look through and just have a lot of good times. So that's pretty much it. That is today's video tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.